It's 5.56 in the morning. I'm so tired. I just rolled out of bed, and I have to get on the phone with WLS with Big John Howell. He wants to talk about Linda Ryan, the board member in Niles, who voted against filters that block child porn. I am expecting this interview to be combative. I am expecting him to do what everyone does in the media, but it is live, and so live is a lot better, usually. They can't edit you. So I'm just waiting for them to call me now. That's my coffee. So we're all anti-child pornography. Is that safe to say? I think so. Let's welcome to the program anti-pornography activist Megan Fox. I think I've talked to her previously. She has now created a two-minute and 30-second video urging residents of Niles to vote against an incumbent trustee up there, Linda Ryan. In the video, which is posted on Ms. Fox's YouTube channel, she did this a few days ago, she accuses Ms. Ryan of voting to allow child pornography at the Niles library on the computers there. Now, just as a backdrop here, last November, the library board voted to add content filters on adult computers that would block all nudity and pornography. At that time, viewing pornography was already against library policy. Let's welcome to the program, Megan Fox. Megan, welcome to 89 WLS. How are you? Hi, John. I'm good. How are you? I, I think I would uh, not characterize myself as an anti-porn activist, but... Uh I'm just a mom okay. who discovered some child porn at my local library and what? was unreported to police. Right, and look, just and so let me stop you there. Hold on a second. Sure. Well, let me stop you there if I can, because that's, I think we spoke previously about that incident. And what suburb was that in? Orland Park, Orland Illinois. Park, right. And I remember that because uh, there was a big uh, story out there, a kerfuffle, if you will, about the ability of the kids to see adults on computers viewing adult content. But Orland Park took steps to stop that, thanks in part to your prompting, correct? Uh, they took some steps. They have not taken all the steps they need to. They will not put on filters that block child pornography, and they should because they had someone access it there. They've admitted that the access happened, and police were never called, and no one has ever faced the consequence for it. But hold on a um, second. Hold on. Let me just pose this question. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to just be confrontational here, but child pornography is already illegal. Yes. Yes, it is. But it is still able to be accessed on computers that have no filters to block it. Because those filters that are up for pornography can distinguish between legal pornography and illegal pornography. Uh, there, are, there are filters that are being used right now in libraries across this country that do block illegal material. Now, we, well, you know, I'm not a filter expert, so I can't go there with you. Right. But I will, I will tell you, the Lamont Library, I have spoken to that director. They've had filters there for over five years. He told me that she's never had one complaint about anything being blocked because they will lift a filter if something is being blocked that shouldn't be, right? But, okay, let me just ask yeah, you, in general, though, I got that, that, I got that, I got it. Now, in general, though, I mean, do you want to forbid public library users from ever accessing, accessing any adult content, pornography or otherwise defined? I think what we, the real problem here is that illegal things are being done in, in libraries, okay? Right now, we've had, uh, in the Bloomingdale Library, a man was arrested for downloading 100 or so images of child pornography. William Harmoning, who used to run the high-tech crime unit in, Chicago, in uh, Illinois at the Attorney General's office, has said in front of Congress uh, that he lost count how many times a child porn investigation brought him back to a library, and that's where the investigation investigation goes cold okay now before we get too far in the weeds with that let me just let me just question you on your your efforts to unseat linda ryan in niles with the video which has now gone semi-viral what do you have against this uh, linda ryan specifically megan fox linda ryan is uh a an american library association acolyte this is a american library association is a special interest group it is far to the left they urge librarians not to call the police when things like child porn are accessed on the computers. They say, oh, well, child porn, it's illegal, but, and, and we shouldn't allow it, but you are not a judge, you librarians. 
So you really can't tell what's child porn and what's not. Well, that is a slippery slope. That is a slippery slope. Like the Supreme Court justice once said, I can't define it, but I know it when I see it. Well, it's, it's absurd. In Orland Park, three people witnessed child porn being accessed. Three people witnessing it and complaining about it should be enough to call the police and let the police do their job. Which However, I, I understand, but hold on a second. The, I'm, I'm getting these kind of these stories uh, confused now. We're talking, you're, t you're trying to unseat somebody in Niles because she's a member of what you think is a left-wing political organization, correct? Then I you have Orland Park. She, and then voted against, she voted against filters that would block child porn from her computers, uh, from taxpayer-paid computers. That is what she did. Now, uh, you know, that, to me, that is a person who does not have the common sense to be on a library board to speak for the community. And the community, John, I've talked to people over the last year and a half. I haven't found anybody who thinks that this is not a good idea. No, I think we have to have, we have, to have the ability to, to protect children from uh, adult material. But I don't, want to, I don't want to infringe on people's freedom. And if the library is a place to access all types of literature and material and content, I don't well, so quite you're know. you're equating porn to literature? Come on, John. Well, I mean, and there's been, there's, there's hold on a second. Come on, Megan. There's, there's been plenty, theme? Megan, there's been plenty of American literature and otherwise that has been defined as porn or, uh, or pornography previously, and uh, we've decided not so much. We're talking about literature. We're talking about films. We're talking about moving pictures. We're talking about what is the difference between watching that at a library and two people doing it on a desk? Well, that's, that's a good point. Uh, I, I'm just trying to I'm trying to decide how do you, how do you protect people's freedoms in a public library without uh, uh, diluting our right to see adult material. Megan, we'll have to leave it there for this morning, but we'll see how this uh, progresses, and we'll have you back to discuss this more at length some other time. Okay. All right. Thanks, John. Take care. That is uh, Megan Fox here on 89 WLS. And I think smut and don't like this has no place in our school.